Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about how to grow your email list for free using Twitter. So in the last video that I had around email list building, I talked about how to grow your email list for free using Facebook groups. But since Twitter has been such a big part of my personal brand and my business growth this year, I did wanna share how I'm using it to grow my email list and how I'm able to profit from the people on my email list that are coming from Twitter. Now, Twitter is cool because it's short form content. So there's a 280 character limit for every tweet. And as opposed to YouTube videos or Facebook groups or long form content, tweets are very easy to pump out in volume and I can get an entire week's worth of tweets done in about two hours. So the funny thing is if you go to my profile on Twitter and you look at my most engaged tweets, most of them are one to three liners that didn't take me more than 10 seconds to write up. So Twitter, short form content, easy to pump out, easy to get a lot of content done in a short period of time and it doesn't take nearly the amount of energy or time that maybe YouTube videos take to create or a Facebook group or long form content takes. The other thing is I've seen amazing results in terms of sales from people on my list that came from Twitter. So I've had roughly 1200 people join my list from Twitter and around $45,000 in courses, services, and consulting sales and one-on-one -on -one coaching sales that came directly from people who started following me on Twitter and joining my email list there. It's a super powerful platform if you know how to use it and know how to use it to grow your email list. So that's what I wanna show you today is how to use Twitter to grow your email list for free. So let's jump into my computer right now and I'll take you over the shoulder so you can see exactly how. All right, so here I am on my Twitter profile. By the way, if you're not already following me, go to Sean Anthony says, hit the follow button, and then you can see all of these strategies live and in action that I'm gonna cover in this video. Now, before I get into the actual strategy and tactics for you, I wanna share what my overall strategy is for social media and email list building. So the way that you wanna think about this is all social media is considered rented land, right? Imagine you go, you rent a house or an apartment and you're, you're paying a landlord, they own the land or they own the property and they can evict you and kick you off and make any types of rules they want like raising the price or saying, you know, quiet hours at 10 p.m., whatever their rules are, they make the rules. And if you break those rules, they can kick you off of their property at any time. And my goal with, with social media is to take people from rented land to owned land. Now, owned land is your email list, right? So, someone joins your email list, you are in charge of your email list. There's no social media platform that owns your email list. It is your email list. So that's a, that's owned land or an owned asset. So that's my strategy on basically any social media platform, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, Instagram. I'm always trying to get people from the rented land over to my own land, my email list. So with that said, with the overall strategy covered, let's jump into the actual tactics for Twitter now on how to use it to grow your email list for free. And let's start with step number one, which is to turn your profile into a landing page. Now, what that means is whenever someone in your target market sees your profile, they click over to your Twitter profile, or this goes for any social media platform, you want it to read like a landing page, right? You want it to convince the person and give them a reason to follow you and of course to jump on your email list. So there are a few areas that you wanna focus on here. First is of course your profile picture and your cover photo. Now, some people like to use their cover photo as a way to advertise a lead magnet or a, free, a freebie or something, maybe a product that they're selling. I just like to make it look like I'm a real person. So I have a very simple picture here. A, I made this in Canva, the, the green background. And then I have a picture with me and Jackie, who is uh, my fiance in the cover photo here. So this just makes me look like a real person. I'm not a robot. I'm not someone who's gonna take their money and run, or at least I hope it doesn't look that way. But that's the first area, right, is your, your photo. Make it look like you're a real person. Don't put a picture of Pikachu or some cartoon here, which I've seen a lot of people do. So profile photo, cover photo. The second area is your bio, right? So over here, this tells people who I am and maybe things that I've done and what they're going to get from following me on Twitter. So you can see here, the compound creator helped 6K plus start, grow, uh, start and grow their online business, 15K plus subs on YouTube, so a little bit of social proof there. And if they stay, they're gonna get tweets about email marketing, info products, and creating internet income. So you can see here, it shares who I am and what I've helped people do and what I can help them do and what, what type of content they're gonna see if they stay and follow me on my, my Twitter profile. And of course, the next step would be my email list. So that's the second area. After your profile cover photo is your bio. Make sure you optimize it to talk about who you are and what you do and what people are gonna get if they follow you. And uh, the third area is this, you can see here, this should actually say Seattle, Washington, but I did a little hack here 
and I have this, this message here that says get daily business growth tips. And over here, this is just my personal website. So if I click over to here, when they click on this link here in my bio, it takes them to here where they can opt in for my daily email list and see my content there. So uh, this is part of my bio. And the last area is your pinned tweet. So the way that I like to use the pinned tweet is I use a bit of a story, like a background story, right? Where have you been and like what's been your journey so far to doing what you're doing now? So if you click on my pinned tweet here, it talks a bit about my experience in online business, how I got started, how I started to grow, and then where I am now and what my mission is now. And at the end of this, you can see, if you enjoyed this, you wanna join me on my mission, follow me at my Twitter profile here. And then also you can sign up for my free newsletter. This was on March 23rd. At that time, I only had 4,944 people on my email list. Now I have a lot more than that, around uh, 6,900 or so people on my email list now. So this is the pinned tweet. And that is the main, those are the main areas you need to optimize to turn your Twitter profile into a landing page. And this way, when someone clicks over to your Twitter profile, it's gonna be optimized for them and they're gonna be more interested in joining your email list, which is this link here in my case. Now, the second step after you optimize your, your profile and you turn it into a landing page is to create some kind of freebie so that when someone clicks over to your link here, uh, this could be your personal site. It could be like a landing page. Uh, there's a software called Card that a lot of people use. And you wanna give people something for free in exchange for their email address. So I don't really have a freebie here. They just enter their first name and email. The reason I don't have a freebie is because I post so much content on YouTube and Twitter. And then I also have my Facebook group here, which I talked about in the previous video. And if they click over to my Facebook group and they try to join this, then they're gonna give me their email address, right? So if they're watching a YouTube video, the YouTube videos lead to my Facebook group, they give me their email address. If they find me on Twitter and they wanna opt in right away from just seeing my content on Twitter, there's the opportunity to opt in here with the first name and email address and now they get my daily emails. Now, if you're not known, if you're not posting a lot of content already and you don't already have an audience, you're gonna need a freebie to entice people to join because they don't know who you are, right? A lot of people who join my email list from Twitter is because they've already seen me a ton on Twitter through my content. So if you don't have a ton of content, you don't have an audience built up, you'll need a freebie. And uh, in the example for my Facebook group, I have something called Subject Line Secrets Report and the group is around email marketing. So just figure out what's a tiny piece that you can break off and turn into a free report or a guide and give people in exchange for them giving you their email address. And that way you're gonna get people onto your email list. So that's the second step is to create some kind of freebie that's gonna entice people to give you their email address in exchange for that freebie. Now the third step is for your Twitter content and your tweets, create a schedule and stick to it. Okay, so what I do here is I use this tool called Hype Fury, and every day at 5.13 or 5.01 a.m., 6.03 a.m., 8.02 a.m., and 5.13 p.m., I have tweets scheduled, right? And you can see here I have about a week in advance that's scheduled out for, for my tweets, and this is very important, right? If you don't have a schedule, like let's say that you tweet 20 times in one day, you're feeling motivated, you're excited, you tweet 20 times, and then you go two weeks without posting, right? By the time you start posting again and tweeting again, people won't even remember who you are. So consistency is more important than volume. And you can see here, I have four tweets scheduled out every day. It takes me about two hours to create and schedule out these tweets for an entire week, five to seven days. So really, really important that you create a schedule for consistently posting and tweeting and actually stick to it because that's what's gonna keep you top of mind with your following and that's what's gonna get people to join your list is the frequency that they see you and the consistency of your content. Now, if you don't know where to start, Hype Fury is a great tool to use. I'll link to it below and you can use the exact same slots that I do. This is Pacific time, on the, I'm on the West Coast. So 5.01 5 a.m., 6.03, 8.02 and 5.13 p.m. Every day is my schedule here. Now, while I'm here on Hype Fury, I wanna talk about the fourth way or the fourth step in this process of using Twitter to grow your email list for free, which is having themes around your content. So for each of these time blocks, right, after I created my schedule, 501, 603, 802, 513, I know exactly what type of tweet or what type of content is gonna go into each of these time blocks here because I have a theme around that. So what does that mean? Well, in the 501 block here, for uh, 501 in the morning, I either ask a question or I do a one-liner, right? So this is an example of a one-liner right here. You can see here, it's just one sentence and it's like a lesson or an insight. Being wrong is an opportunity to learn. And uh, I either use that 
or I ask a question, right? So you, you can see here, this is a question, obviously. Do you have any friends who live in multiple states or countries a year? And I ask a question that's designed to get engagement, right? So every 501 block, I'm either asking a question or I'm doing a one liner. Now in the 603 and 802 blocks, I'm either having some kind of opinion post where I'm, I have like an opinion about something that might be controversial or just some thoughts that I'm having. It could be a short list. You can see here, this is an example of a short list of something. It's, it's usually around something tactical or I might do a value post or right? like a how-to post or I might link to a YouTube video where I'm doing something around how to, uh, how to be more productive, how to write emails that sell. So those are the main things that I post in 6.03 and 8.02 a.m. in those time blocks. And in the 5.13 p.m. block here, I have another either one-liner, a lesson, or I ask a question, right? Uh, usually I try to stay away from the questions at the end of the day. I use those in the beginning of the day because at the end of the day, people are, they don't wanna engage. They're more so just looking for something to end their day with and they're scrolling through the timeline. So I'm usually doing a one-liner or some kind of lesson in this last block here. Now, the reason I recommend you theming out your content this way is now I can log into Hype Fury. I can spend one to two hours a week and I know exactly what type of tweet is gonna go into each of these time blocks, right? Now you still have to think about what type of content to put in here but I know exactly what type of content or what type of tweet structure or framework I'm gonna to use to each of these, right? So a question or one-liner, opinion or value or short list for both of these, and then a one-liner or lesson in the, in the afternoon or the evening block here, right? This takes a lot of guesswork and a lot of decision-making out of my, uh, my time, so I have a lot more energy to focus on things that are more important, right? So I don't have to think about, what do I put here in this 501 block? What do I put here in the 603 block? I know exactly what's gonna go into these blocks here. So that's step four is to theme or create a theme around your different tweets and your different content. Now the fifth and final tip for growing your email list for free using Twitter is to use tweet storms and viral threads. So what is a tweet storm? Well, it's basically a blog article in a Twitter format. So if you go here to my pinned tweet, right, there's a tweet here, there's an icon of this little thread thing here. And you can see I'm basically commenting on my original tweet and just carrying on the rest of the, the thought there, right? So you can see here, how to earn a full-time income online as a compound creator. What is a compound creator? Someone who makes a full-time income through creating solutions on the internet. This could be in the form of content, products, services, or all the above. And then I write this sort of blog article within Twitter, right? So you can see here, multiple different tweets. And at the end of this, there is an invitation for them to join my list. If they click this, it takes them to my website, and now they can join my list, right? Now, why are these so powerful? Well, let me show you this tool here called ilo.so. Now, what this tool does is shows me my most engaged and viewed tweets, and a lot of these are through threads and tweet storms. And you can see here, this is an example of my most viewed one here. This is a tweet storm that is still getting views and likes and shares and getting published on different uh, blogs and different podcasts, people are talking about it. So this was posted on March 30th and people are still talking about it months later. And you can see here, this is a tweet storm, right? I'm shouting out people that I bought courses from and, and sharing what I learned. And at the end of this, they can join my email list, right? This is one of the best weapons that you have at your disposal on Twitter to grow your email list is putting out these tweet storms. And once they get traction, right, you can see this one had 113,495 impressions and 1,255 people clicked over to my Twitter profile after reading this thread here, this tweet storm. So this is a great, amazing way to, to grow your list. I used to do these every Tuesday, but I got pretty busy with my business, so I had to slow down on this. I might start this up again end of July, but this was huge in helping, my, helping me get my first 1,000 Twitter subscribers and also helping me grow my email list by about 1,200 subscribers is using these tweet storms here. So if you have the time, highly recommend you sit down, do these once a week or so, and these can go, it only takes a few of these to go viral to grow your list by hundreds, even thousands of people. Now, one more thing, the way that I do this is I post the tweet storm by itself first without an email opt-in, and if it goes viral, like if, there's, if it's getting a lot of views and traction, then at the end of this, I put an opt-in box or a link to my opt-in box for my website, right? If you enjoyed this, follow me here, uh, sign up for my free newsletter with this many other people on it. They click on this 
this link here, it takes them to my personal site, they opt in, now they get to see my daily emails. So that is the fifth tip, use tweet storms to your advantage. If one or a few of these go viral, this can grow your, your following on Twitter and also your email list by hundreds, even thousands of people with just one tweet storm. Okay, so these are super powerful for you, for you to use. So if you're looking to grow your email list for free using short form content on Twitter, make sure you go back, watch this video again, apply these five steps to your Twitter profile and your business and you'll be set up pretty nicely to grow your email list by hundreds of people in a pretty short period of time. Now, if you got value from this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you wanna learn what to do with your email list once you've built one, how to monetize and profit from your email list, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you directly to my free Facebook group where I'm gonna share a lot of content around how to do exactly that. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.